As we're working on our financial fitness, it's important that we implement the disciplines that we've talked about. The five steps we gave you on building a budget that's significant and important and that's a, a key foundation to your financial life and that building up an emergency fund. That's elementary, it's very important, but it's, it's the ground level floors on, on building a financial house. Um, today, we're gonna start talking about some things that can lead to some greater success and growth in your finances. And, and there's a lot to learn and it can be overwhelming. But the important thing is it's, it's just about um, learning something and implementing it. And just like you're building a skyscraper, you don't build it all at one time. You start floor by floor by floor. So having a budget in place, having a, a security fund, emergency fund in place is important. Setting up some type of investment strategy is important. Um, and nobody likes to pay taxes. Um, you hear about Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam likes to take your money. Um, if you make $1,000 a week on your paycheck and you get your check to take it home and it, it, there's only $774 on there, and you where'd the rest of my money go? Well, Uncle Sam likes to take your money and he likes to, to tax you as much as he possibly can. So as a wise investor, as you plan for retirement, it's important that you set up the right types of accounts that can keep you paying as little taxes as possible, unless of course you like to pay more taxes. But if, if you wanna have those types of accounts set up that'll pay you, that you have to pay less taxes in, uh, we'll talk about those and give you some strategies that you can implement to pay as little taxes as possible. Um, that's the way that I'd like to do things. And uh, if you wanna pay more taxes, don't listen to anything that I say in regards to this. But as you're building this financial house and become financially successful, um, whether you're gonna save money or not, or invest money or not, all comes down to discipline. Discipline and time are really the keys to your building financial success. It comes down to whether you are willing to delay this, the gratification. If you have to have it right now, then you're not gonna be disciplined to save for the future. If you're disciplined to save for the future, you can have much more but because because of the, the, the increase of your finances over time, but you can't have it right now. So if you if you have to have it right now, then then you're you're gonna be challenged to be able to save and see things advance and grow in the future. If you're willing to delay your gratification and say, I can't have all that I want right now. I can't have the fancy car in the big house right now, but I have a nice car and a nice house, but I'm, I'm investing and I'm saving uh, for the future. If you take the time and, and implement the disciplines as a young person uh, to begin to save for your future, um, you could answer the biggest question that, that anybody over 50 has. And they start thinking about what's gonna happen when I retire? And uh, if you're smart when you're 20, you won't have that question to worry about when you're 50. Um, so it all comes down to discipline. Are you willing to keep the money in your pocket uh, or do, do, does it have to be spent? 